Hi, it's Jenna. I'm here today to talk about the differences between Dharma, last week's theme, and Vimarsha, which is this week's theme. So Dharma is one of those concepts that we don't have a great um, baseline for, I think, in current Western society. Um, it's the idea, just as a refresher, that you have a sort of destiny that within your own life you are given specific gifts and it is your obligation in living um, a moral and connected and in flow state life that you live according to that dharma. I don't think it's always obvious what our dharma is. Sometimes I think it's a process of learning and refining and understanding yourselves over years and years and years. But the goal, the mark of a life well lived is that you've lived according to your dharma. Vimarsha is coming from a slightly different take on the tradition. So dharma can feel very rigid in the sense of like, oh my gosh, I have a destiny, I have fate, I have to listen to this thing. That's partially true um, in some ways, but it's just asking you to reflect and exist within that sort of like um, lane of space that you can, you can function in in your life. Vimarsha is the idea that Every opportunity that we have in a given day in living out our dharma, so when things happen to us or we engage in things or exist in a space, we have the free will to reflect back on that experience. So it's this idea that in our acts of self-reflection, and self-reflection in this sort of sense means what are the actions we take within whatever's been presented to us? How does that yield opportunities for greater alignment and greater opportunity to live within your dharma? So if you woke up tomorrow and your entire life changed, everything around you changed, every structure that you've ever imagined, every identifier, um, maybe it's woman, uh, wife, mother, person who works at a certain job, what if all of those things disappeared and you had no agency and you're locked into a path of, say, a dharma, how would you respond? And it's within that response and how we exist within that is where true free will lies. Because we always have an opportunity to self-reflect. We always have a chance to refine. We always have a chance to be in a state of greater flow um, and less friction. So when we're looking at Vimarsha and this idea of sort of free will and the ability to truly illuminate the self, it's the agency that we have within a given moment to respond and to reflect and to be. So hopefully that helps. Have a great day. Bye.